All right, guys, as promised, today we're going to show you how to wrestle coat our Homer decoys. Uh, a couple of things that you'll need. Uh, we use walnut shells, which is basically just the ground tumbling media, or you can also get it for pet litter and the pet supplies of your pet stores as well. Uh, the finer, the better. It's going to create a less abrasive finish. So you're going to need some ground walnut, Type Bond 2, Type Bond 3. Uh, type Bond 3 is the best ultimately. That's 100% waterproof. So we strongly recommend Type Bond 3. Do not use Type Bond 1. The red label is bad. So no red label, no Type Bond 1. Next we need our Homer decoy bodies. We're going to use some toothpicks and I'll show you what those are for later as we get into the video here. Uh, but basically, the process is, is we're going to coat the body with glue, smooth it out with a brush, nice and evenly with a nice thick consistent coat. And then we're going to sprinkle the material all over the body once it's been glued. Okay, so we're going to cover it in glue, and then we're going to sift the media over top of it, and then we're going to take our toothpicks, and we're going to stick them into the body in four different places, and that is so we can set the body down when we're done with it, so we don't get it sticking to the table or whatever else we're using. So, uh, got Chris here with us. He's never done this before ever. This is his first time, I promise you. So we're going to show you how easy it is for someone that's never even done it, and here we go. Just going to spread our glue all over the body. It's really simple here, where you know we're not going to worry too much about it. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. Uh, if you want to wear gloves, you can really not necessary for what you're doing. You're not messing with any harsh chemicals or things like that. So a mask isn't required. You're not going to be breathing horrible toxic flames. You can handle the smell of Elmer's glue basically. You can handle this without any issues and it's not too bad. So it's going to keep spreading our glue out here nice and consistently. We want to Nice even coat. Keep right on going until we get the whole thing uh, good and even consistency here. Top, bottom, sides. Now, if you want to do the bottoms, you can do the bottoms as well. It's not completely necessary. Now, if you're hunting in salt water, you might want to go ahead and coat the keel and wrestle coat the keel as well. That'll help preserve the, the metal bar that's in there from rusting. So we just keep right on and going here, and I'm going to go ahead and on mine, I'm going to do the bottom edge where the Waterfowl Works name and Homer Decoys is. I know some guys are doing these and selling them as their brand, and that's fine. I, we have no problem with that. Feel free to just coat right over top of that. And All right. Now how Chris is doing over there? It looks like his is pretty good. Got mine. Got a little bit here under the bottom of the tail. We're gonna stick a little bit more glue on it. So you're going underneath too? Yeah. Looks like that. Yep. Perfect. Up here. Yep. You got it. Looks good. We're gonna set our paintbrush down and we're just gonna start coating this body here. And as you can see, the the walnut holes now are adhering to the glue that we put on the body. I guess we should have got two containers. <laughs> but I'll be out of your way here in just a second. And you can quick and easy. Do yours. It's, it's mainly what we're doing here is we're looking for white white spots in the foam. 
here in a minute I'll leave one on purpose just so I can show you what we're doing. We want a nice good even coat. Um, and if you look here, there's a, some spots here where I can still see the white foam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back into the glue um, and the walnut hulls. And we're going to finish filling them in and then if we get any runs, you can take a finger, smush them out and you'll see glue come through and that's fine too. So I just set this in there, right? Yep. All right. Won't hurt a thing. Throw some stuff on here. I think we've got it. My gosh. Give her a little shake. All coated up here, no white spots. That one's finished. Now we're going to take a toothpick, stick it in here. Stick it in here. Stick it in there. Stick it in there. Be careful not to poke your fingers or stab yourself with a toothpick. But once we get our toothpicks in there, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this back here. And we're just going to carefully set it down here on the table. One done. Sarah, here there's some more spots, just keep covering. Yep, you got some white spots there, just, yep, get some more right on there. Need a little glue. Glue me. A little white on the glue. Yep. Same way on the other side where you had that bare spot, there's a little light on glue. So it's okay. There we go. Over. Yep. You can stick some more glue back over there and then just uh, coat her in there, tap it in there with the palm of your hand. Good to go. Looks real good. Two picks. Stick some two picks in there. Set her back here on the table out of the way. Basically, guys, that's that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's not difficult at all. I'm going to let Chris do a sleeper here. Uh, the only thing we're going to do different with a sleeper body is we're not going to do the bill, okay? Uh, we're going to leave that smooth because we want it to be smooth. You know, a duck's bill isn't isn't gritty and all grimy. Grind it up. So we're going to leave this nice and smooth. So we're going to coat this whole body, except we're not going to coat the bill with any glue. And then when we coat it, the bill will still be white. So Chris is going to do that one, and I'm going to do a puddle duck body. Um, I don't want anybody to think that because of all this fancy high primaries and wing patterns and things that it's going to be any harder because it's it's no harder at all. It's, it's the exact same process, and we'll do these two for you. We're not doing this on Facebook, guys. We're, we're actually have to do a little bit of editing with the video here. We get done with these, maybe I'll um, grab the phone and we'll set it up on a tripod and do a couple more on Facebook. So this is basically we're going to use this video for some promo purposes otherwise, other than just Facebook. But we like all you guys that's following us on Facebook and Instagram and Enjoy seeing your work, seeing what you're doing with the decoys as well. You know, it's a it's, it's a fun hobby. It saves you a lot of time and hassle of trying to buy molds and find so sources for the materials for your molds so that you can pour them. Um, we basically eliminate that by providing you with uh, some awesome bodies that we're extremely happy with and have had great success with for the first year, year and a half. So this will allow you to concentrate on learning some painting skills and getting your kids involved. There's nothing more than having your kids involved.
look back in 10, 15 years after your son or daughter, six, eight years old, makes one, and by the next year she's making them again and be able to look back and see the differences in how those looked. It's pretty amazing how much easier it gets. And the mallard body here with the way it's carved and all the feather details and things like that makes it uh, pretty easy to learn to paint. I'm not a painter by no means. Simple gutters, it's all I do, it's all I have time to do, but somebody that wanted to get into laying down some feathers and things like that, this body right here is definitely one to get your feet wet with. Here we go again. This one here is got all the glue on it here. She's been coated up. A couple white spots. Get back in that little corner there where it's pretty dense. Now here we go. Here's a look right here in the base of the neck. You can see where I missed the glue right there. So go right here and put a little dib of glue in these couple little white spots right back into the media push it down put some glue on it how's that one coming over there looks pretty good and there we go number two this Thank time a mallard I got the bill. perfect coated up we'll find out Now, if we were going to do this, do lots and lots of these, you know, we might consider a shelf system. But since we're just doing this for instructional purposes today, we just take some toothpicks in them and set them on the table. And basically, there we have it. Let Chris come in here and zoom in on this one while he's wrapping it up as you can see the bill there I've left the bill plain see a few little white spots in there on the other side of the cheek yep, so. so now basically he'll go back in there and pat that all in real good and, and essentially here we go another one looks good to me All right, well, fix her up. Yep. And there you have it. Does it get any easier than that, guys? So remember, type bond three. Tight bond two if you're in a pinch. No tight bond one. Tight bond one, red label is bad. It's not waterproof and it will not adhere once you start using the decoy. Um, ground walnut media can buy it at a pet store in the reptile section for bedding. You can buy it at Harbor Freight, anywhere you buy blasting materials. And again, you want fine. Um, some guys will use corn cob media. Some guys will use sawdust. Any of the above will work just fine. So, I mean, if you have a, an outlet for free sawdust, by all means, use it. It'll work and it'll do fine and it'll help cut your costs. Um, the box from Harbor Freight, I believe it's 25 pounds. Um, I don't know, 22 bucks, $23. And... Let me tell you, this box will do a lot of decoys. I mean, we just did four, and we haven't even put a dent in it. So uh, I would venture to guess you could probably pretty easily get 50, 75 decoys out of the 25-pound box of the Magnum Homer, Homer decoy bodies. Um, the glue, you can buy it in gallons, 20 bucks a gallon. Um, I mean, you have 20... 25 so you have about 50 bucks in materials and you can do 
easily 50, 60 decoys, maybe even more. Um, so you add a dollar to the price, plus your time and efforts, and you still are going to end up with a decoy that's pretty much virtually indestructible. I mean, once you get the coat on here, um, it's not going to dent anymore. Uh, we have a four pound density body, so that's, that's going to help with that. And on top of that, you can go back over the body. If you like, a lot of guys will water down their Type Bond 3 and brush on another coat just to help seal it up a little better. So you, you can take it as far as you want. You can keep it as simple as you want. And that's the great thing about it. Hope you enjoyed the video.